For years, older people have been taking an aspirin a day to prevent them from having a heart attack or stroke. But now that conventional wisdom is being called into question. That's right. So the influential U.S. Preventive Services Task Force just issued new guidelines for when aspirin is safe to use. Our Dr. Frank McGeorge joins us with this important change, Doc. Yeah, Kim and Jason, so I want to start with a super important distinction. This change only applies to people taking aspirin to prevent a first heart attack or stroke. If you were placed on a low-dose aspirin because you already had a heart attack, had a stent, or had a stroke, you should continue taking the aspirin. But if you are only trying to prevent a problem, listen up, because it comes down to benefit versus risk. In general, the risk of bleeding um, uh, outweighs any benefit in patients who are looking to prevent a heart attack or stroke but just haven't had one yet. That's Dr. Akshay Kandelwal, the Associate Division Head of Cardiology at Henry Ford Health. For many decades, we've been strongly advocating uh, aspirin not just for treatment of these conditions, but also to prevent these conditions. The challenge, however, is to weigh that benefit of preventing blood clots and platelets from clumping with the risks that we now know that aspirin carries, primarily related to bleeding. If you have a heart attack or stroke, aspirin's anti-platelet effect can be helpful in slowing the blockage. The problem is, it also increases your risk of bleeding. More current research shows the risk of gastrointestinal bleeding and bleeding in and around the brain is high enough that the risk outweighs the benefit if you are 60 and older. Between 40 and 60, there may be a benefit to a daily low-dose aspirin if you have a higher than 10% 10-year cardiovascular disease risk. Now, one final thing Dr. Candlewall wants to emphasize. Sometimes I have patients who come to me who want to prevent a heart attack or stroke, uh, but are actively smoking. And uh, um, just to be, I hate to be repetitive, but it is very important to know that smoking is, uh, is one of the greatest risk factors for heart disease uh, or stroke. So basically, not smoking, getting your cholesterol under control, managing diabetes, getting the proper diet and exercise, all help more than a daily aspirin would anyway, and at a much lower risk. Now again, though, I need to say, this is for people who have not had a prior heart attack or stroke. If you have, and you've been told to take a daily aspirin, do not stop taking it. Got it, Doc. But there's also been suggestion that a daily aspirin could help people uh, prevent colorectal cancer as well. How does that factor into this recommendation? Well, you know, the U.S. Preventative Services Task Force looked at the data on whether aspirin has a benefit against colorectal cancer, and they actually felt that the benefit in colorectal cancer just wasn't clear enough to outweigh the risk and that more study was actually needed in that area as well. Interesting, yeah. Okay, Dr. McGeorge, thanks.